Brazilian president formalizes offer of asylum to women sentenced to death when an Iranian woman named Sakine Mohammadi Ashtiani was sentenced to death on an adultery case, Brazilian President Luis Inácio Lula da Silva appealed to his friend and fellow head of state, Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, as well as Supreme Leader of Iran Ali Khamenei and the Iranian government to permit the woman to seek refuge in Brazil. On Tuesday, August 10th, Brazilian ambassador to Iran, Antonio Luis Espanola Salgado, formally presented the offer at Iran's foreign ministry on behalf of President da Silva. With international organizations such as Amnesty International also calling for her life to be spared, Ms. Ashtiani's sentence has been suspended for the time being. Our respect and thankfulness, President Lula da Silva, for your compassion and persevering efforts to protect a precious human life. We pray for Ms. Ashtiani and others like her to be spared as all nations uphold this humane and sacred principle above all. During a teleconference with Supreme Master Television guests on August 7th in California, USA, Supreme Master Ching Hai responded to a question regarding this case, expressing her heartfelt plea on behalf of the woman's life. It's really a very heartbreaking story. I joined the president of Brazil to beg for her life and we all joined to beg the government of Ireland give her a second chance to life. Because if you ask my opinion, my opinion is forgiveness. Because God is love and forgiveness. Jesus was challenged about a person in his lifetime who also so-called committed adultery and people want to stone her to death as well. And what did Jesus say? That they who have not, not sinned cast, sin, cast, cast the first stone. stone. Yes, let the one who doesn't sin at all ever cast the first stone. Who in the human race doesn't commit some mistakes, some so-called sin sometimes? But in my opinion, adultery is a mistake that any of the humans can sometimes commit. It's not a grave sin. It's just a betrayal of trust between two people in private. It's not an act against a nation or against a country's security or anything that merits too much like a death penalty. Only God knows why it happened. So, in my humble opinion, we should never punish this woman or anyone who commits adultery because it's just a mistake and can change, can change. And there's one more thing very important is that even for any grave sin, you know, so-called sin, like a crime, there is always a doubt whether it has been truly committed or it has been wrongly accused. So in many countries right now, the death penalty has been abolished. I hope the whole world soon will do that. Because once we kill somebody, we cannot make her alive again. We should always give the suspect a chance in case if it's wrong. Or another case is to give them a second chance to change, to redeem their sin if that was really a sin that they have committed. Don't you think so, all of you? Yes. 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 Give people a chance. Yes.